Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another baking video for you and I'm making chocolate cookies with white chocolate chips. So first off, you're going to need to cream together your butter or margarine, shortening, whatever you're using, and your sugar. And then once it's light and fluffy, you're going to add in your egg, milk, and vanilla extract. Alright, all the wet ingredients have been mixed together now. And while that was happening, I mixed together all my dry ingredients. So flour, um, baking cocoa, baking soda, and salt. So I'm going to slowly start adding this in. Probably, I don't know, I'm just going to start adding it in really slowly so it doesn't go everywhere. Alright, so all the dry and wet ingredients are mixed together. Now the recipe I'm going off of says to fold in the white chocolate chips, but I am 100% lazy, so I'm just going to pour them in here and mix them in. That's what I do when I make normal chocolate chip cookies, and it's what I'm going to do now. Yep, that took all of three seconds to mix together. Way faster. Um, now the recipe says to just put this on an ungreased baking sheet in small spoonfuls. And my oven is almost done preheating to 350 right now. So I have all the little cookie dough balls scooped out on the baking sheets. It looks like each sheet's going to make about 12 cookies. So right here I have two dozen already. I'm pretty impressed with how much dough I have left also. I think I'm going to try um, to make some bigger cookies and see how this recipe does. Because usually I don't make little cookies. I make larger ones. So the recipe says to for cookies this size to bake them at 350 for about six to seven minutes so we'll see how that does and then when they come out I'll make some larger so ones. what happened I baked them for six minutes just as is and then they they hadn't flattened out yet so I just took a big spoon and kind of just like flattened them a little bit and baked them for three more minutes still weren't done so then I ended up doing two minute increments after that so they baked a total of 13 minutes and they're still really soft I'm hoping that as they cool, they'll firm up and be fine. Um, I think they're just going to be a really soft cookie, which I enjoy. I have decided against trying to make bigger cookies just because this took 13 minutes for cookies this size. So I'm going to bake the rest of the batch, but I'm going to do them at this size. All right, I just taste tested the first batch that came out. The ones that were on the top rack are perfect, so baking at 13 minutes this size worked for my oven. Keep in mind that depending on elevation and stuff like that, your cooking time might vary. But the ones that were on the bottom rack, they just, the bottoms were slightly burned and you can definitely taste it. They're still fine, but I'm not gonna give this batch away. I'll give these ones away, but not the ones that were a little burned. I'll eat them, cause whatever, but you know. Um, I am now putting in the last cookie sheet. So what was left in the bowl made 12 more plus two size cookies that I would normally make. Like this is the size I prefer, so we're gonna test it, because why not? All right, just checking in one last time. So I just wanted to update you on the larger cookies. They ended up cooking for 14 minutes, and with these larger ones and the last batch of small ones, I flattened them before I put them in. So the smaller ones cooked for 12 minutes. So they still took a really long time. Um, and they didn't burn and then these bigger ones I cooked for 14 minutes about um, And I think they're just as good as the small ones So you definitely could make these larger and just cook them for a little bit more time. Not much I did bake the bigger ones on the bottom rack if that makes a difference um, But yeah overall, I really like this recipe. I think I'll totally make it again. I love white chocolate so And all chocolate so I definitely see myself making this again so that is everything for today's video. Thank you for watching, and like I said before, I'll put the original recipe linked down below.